hope that this works because I'm in a really small area. But here we are, NXT 2.0. So Parker B, aka Brock 2.0, shaved his head. Name's new. His new name's Harold. Um, Coral J got a shocking upset and amazing Fatal Four Way Elimination Tag Team Championship match as your main event. And it looks like Toxic Attraction is looking for all of the gold. A brand new episode of Kimmy Talk Trusting where we are reviewing NXT 2.0. And we are starting. I mean, let's start with Parker. So, I believe it was the Joe Gracie match that he was in the stands and he stood up and he's like looking at Joe Gracie. I didn't even recognize who he was at first. And I was like, who is this guy? And then I saw on Twitter that that's Parker, like Brock 2.0. Remember that guy like six months ago? We were like, oh my god, that's Brock Lesnar. Like, Brock Lesnar's twin. They made him shave his head. Now, now, we, uh, why? Why? I don't understand why WWE does these things. That was really interesting. Um, I'm kind of shocked that they did that, meaning that I think everyone knows what he kind of looks like. Maybe they were doing the shave head to for him to look more serious. But that was really weird and really shocking. But let's talk about my fellow 20 year old, Cora Jay. Oh, Cora Jade. So, Cora Jade was supposed to be wrestling. Um, one of the other developmental students, I forgot her name, and she got beat up by Frankie Monet. So then this match was an impromptu matchup between Frankie Monet and Cora Jade. And after Frankie Monet basically annihilated Cora Jade, Cora Jade got the upsetting up win. And Frankie and Robert Stone were so mad, they were throwing a fit. And it's a good thing for 20 year olds, we won, we won. Uh, Trey, Pix Trey Baxter was at ringside because of course they're dating in real life. This was really cool. Um, I'm a huge fan of Cora Jade, not just because she's 20 year olds old, but I feel like she's really, she's a very different style of wrestler and her gimmick's very different than a lot of people on the roster right now. And I think it's really gonna help NXT out. I like that she got this win against Frankie. I mean, hopeful NXT time in like the next two years? I think so. But sticking with the women's championship and the women's division, Mandy Rose. So they changed, I believe this was her first match with the brown hair. So they changed like her everything, like new gear and stuff. She wrestled Ember Moon. This match was okay. Um, I still think Mandy does need a little more work, which is why I personally believe she was sent down to NXT originally. But Mandy got the win. There was hinting that Ember might be turning heel because she's been on a losing streak, so keep that in mind. And Raquel came out and like kind of like ooh, kind of stood up to Frankie. No, Raquel can't talk. I don't like that I'm in the small secluded room. Raquel stood up against Mandy, saying that she's not championship material and that she can totally beat Mandy. Instead of posing for Instagram, she's going to be posing in a body cast where Mandy comes out and responds to the what chants. And she's like, say what one more time if you think I'm the sexiest person in this entire division, which I thought was really funny. I was like, damn, you, you do that. Um, Mandy basically saying that Toxic Attraction is here for gold. They're going after the NXT Women's Championship as well as the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. Because thank God we're using those titles because we sure as hell are not using them on the main roster. So, um, after that, there was, you know, they all kind of cornered Raquel. And then Zoe Starks and Io Shirai made the save. And, you know, then Indy Hartwell and her friend said that, you know, they're not the only ones going after these tag team championships. You gotta be looking out for us. And they were like, well, didn't we beat you for these? So that was also kind of interesting. So it'll be interesting to see where this is potentially going. I know that Mandy and Raquel are probably gonna wrestle at Halloween Havoc, which is in two weeks, which is announced. And Rick Steiner Jr., because that's, that's what I'm going to call him. Rick Steiner is going to wrestle Tommaso Ciampa. 
in the main event for the title, which is really exciting. And yeah, excited for that. But look at this nigga. As they're to scream over me when I'm filming. Love you. So our main event, Fatal Four Way Elimination Tag Team Championship match. Um, so I thought that this match was kind of rushed because they didn't give it enough time. I believe it was only a 15 minute match and a four way elimination tag team match could not be 15 minutes. That thing needs to be 20 to 25 which is why I was really shocked they made it elimination style. MSK got the win, as they should. I'm happy they got the win. I think it made a lot of sense the way the match played out and you know, they're celebrating and then it out of nowhere, Imperium. Attacked MSK combined. So I'm assuming this means that Walter's also coming soon. I don't remember the last time we saw Imperium. So I'm assuming Walter's gonna follow in suit as well. I'm excited for this. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Imperium or Walter, but having to face MSK is a new challenge because I think they've been through every major tag team that NXT has right now. And it's really just Imperium that they're waiting for in all these new teams. And NXT 2.0, I really keep on hitting this. It's really pissing me off. And yeah, that's about it. So now